Good evening, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, um, I did not dress up, and I am here for three minutes, but it felt really right to be here tonight. Um, I, I can't thank you enough for all of your kind words over the past week. It has been a, uh, an amazing, amazing week. Carson's this, this cute little thing in my hand right now, and I can't wait to go home and, and hang out with him and my wife in a couple of minutes. Um, everybody that stepped up over the past, you know, from Jazz Ensemble's concert in downtown Detroit to our two all-city concerts to um, our spring concert with Mr. C stepping in to tonight's event that Mr. Crum will, will, will lead, um, I'm just super, super grateful for everybody in the room that has helped me be able to be a dad for a week, and I, I love that so much. And um, I'm, just, I'm just super grateful to be here tonight for a little bit and to congratulate all of our seniors um, and to welcome everybody to their first ban band banquet, if this is your first time. Can you raise your hand if this is your first Athens band banquet? It's amazing. Let's give them a hand, everybody. <laughs> I love that. Um, tonight, we are going to recognize all aspects of our program. Um, we're going to announce some varsity letter winners. We're going to recognize some awesome parents. We're going to hear some great senior speeches, I think. I haven't read them, so I don't know if they're great, but I expect them to be. Pr Mr. Crum approves, so I think it'll be great. Um, and then we're going to eat an awesome meal, and then when we are all done with that, uh, we'll, we'll feature our incredible Winter Guard program, and then we'll talk about our Marching Man program, and then we will close out the night with our show reveal and our announcement of our drum majors for next year, and it's going to be a wonderful evening. I'm so happy to see everybody here tonight, and I'm glad that this room just keeps getting more filled and more filled and more filled. The first year we did this, we didn't need this many tables, and the room just keeps going, going back and back, and the dance floor keeps getting smaller, which is amazing. So I hope that you sit back, relax, um, enjoy the celebration of the Athens Band Program, and without further ado, I'd like to welcome our assistant director, Mr. Crum. Most people won't give me a microphone because they have seen what happens. I've done this thing that Mr. Cable's done a lot of times, and I want to take a moment to uh, recognize him because this is a hard job that he does. And I don't think we, you know, we're going to clap for everybody in this room a few times tonight. We're going to give out a ton of awards, but none of them are for Mr. Cable. And let's just give him some, uh, some love right now. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay, Mr. Cable. Nice. And I'm especially appreciative to him because he gave me this script that, uh, and he trusts me with his words. <laughs> and I appreciate him for that. So here we go. Ooh, welcome. Yeah, we did that. And Mr. Cable did a great job with that welcoming. But now it's time for the Jazz Ensemble to please stand up. Jazz Ensemble, please stand up. Give them a round of applause. Yes, yes, yes. Jazz Ensemble remains standing. This is a great group of kids who consistently made progress from the first concert through last week. 7.20 a.m. wasn't always their favorite time to make it to class. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. But once we got going, it was smooth sailing. This group is fearless. They work hard to get better at soloing, and they support their friends. We can't wait to hear so many of these kids perform at the next level in the future. A few weeks ago, they earned a well-deserved first division at State Jazz Festival and got to perform at Aretha's Jazz Cafe last week. Let's give them one more hand. Great job, and you guys can sit down because we have a couple of awards to give. Can I please have Mitchell Morrison and Liam Kilpatrick stand up? <laughs> Congratulations to you folks earning the Woody Herman Jazz Award. The Woody Herman Jazz Award. Come on up here and get that 
certificate from me. Yeah. <laughs> Mitchell and the um, here we go, Mitchell and the um, thank you, congratulations. We'll get the handshake in, that's really good. Work on that. Okay. Could I have Marcelo Ayala stand up, please? Okay, well Marcelo's Marcelo's not here, but guess what? Marcelo won the director's award. The director's award. So round of applause for myself. Harrison Katiba, please stand up. You, you have won the uh, MSBOA Scholar Instrumentalist Award for high academic achievement with superior performance at MSBOA events. Here you go. Good job. Campus Band, it's your turn to stand up, please. Campus Band. Stay standing, Campus Band. This group of freshmen have raised the bar to the next level of how the Athens Campus Band should sound. One of our largest incoming classes in the last seven years and one of the most fun to work with as well. They come into class with a lot of energy, sometimes too much. I've witnessed it personally. And when they play their best, they certainly do not sound like freshmen. We could not be more proud of them earning a first division at Banff Festival in March. Let's give them a hand. Great job, guys. You can sit down. And now, can the concert band please stand up? Concert band. This ensemble is made up of grades 9 through 12 and is one of the hardest working classes we see each day. They're friends with each other, and the spirit they have leads to excellent teamwork inside our rehearsals. We pushed them this year with many foreign key signatures and some fun literature from movies. Their best performance of the year was at Band Festival, and they got to experience the world's easiest sight reading on accident. Is that, is that right? Is that true? You agree? Yeah. Out of all four bands, this group has shown the most growth since September. We're excited to see so many of them in band next year. One more round of applause and congratulations to them. And Symphonic Band, please stand up. Symphonic Band. We worked hard this year in symphonic band. There were a lot of obstacles we needed to overcome, like having our biggest symphonic band, uh, dealing with some fun balance issues, and in taking what we learned from marching season and bringing it indoors to symphonic band. Even though this group of students are some of the best at Athens, they still have to work hard to make their music sound as pure and beautiful as it does at concerts. I appreciate how hard they've worked and how much fun we've had playing Let Me Be Frank, Vesuvius, and Secret Agent Santa. Let, yeah, I like that combo, right? That's nice. Thank you for all the leadership you've shown in putting together small ensembles for s &E, to pushing yourself to the next level with our current literature. It is clear how hard you want to work for the friends you're standing next to today. Thanks, guys. One more round of applause for some fun. Things. And a couple more awards now. Abby Zaitz is not here tonight, is that right? Abby, are you here? Okay, but Abby 
won the Director's Award, given to seniors that show pride, that shows pride in the band program, excellent musicianship and dedication. So let's give a round of applause for Abby. The next award is the Arian Award. This award is earned by the top performing student, both musically and academically. And this award goes to Nolan Booth. Nolan Booth. <laughs> and the next award is the Patrick S. Gilmore Award. This award honors an outstanding band student and their achievements and commitment to the band. This award is going to Matthew Young. Matthew Young. <laughs> and the next award, this one's kind of special. I, I won this one when I was in high school. Wow, cool. That's kind of, that's all right. This next one, uh, this is the John Philip Sousa Award. Recognizes superior musicianship, dependability, loyalty, and the cooperation, and cooperation, and is given to the top musician in the band program. This goes to Joel Gregg. <laughs> So many awards, that's awesome. That's great. Hey, uh, another, th I'd like to recognize all the, the people that participated in District Soul and Ensemble. Can you stand up? District Soul and Ensemble participants. Stand up. And let's also recognize everybody that participated in State solo and ensemble, state solo and ensemble. Let's give them a round of applause. There's a lot of clapping. Sometimes our hands get tired, so I, I recognize all of you for being persistent with the clapping. Keep on clapping. Percussion ensemble, are you still standing up? If you sat down, stand back up. Percussion ensemble, stand back up. This, this percussion ensemble was recently named one of the top small ensembles in Michigan based on their state solo and ensemble performance. Congratulations on all your hard work. One more round of applause for the percussion ensemble. Mm, before we eat, who's hungry? Hand up if you're hungry. Yeah, me too, me too. Before we eat, I'd like to, okay, be careful with that water. I would also like to recognize our varsity letter winners, students who completed their second year of marching band and earned a varsity letter. Please stand up if you completed your second year of marching band. Varsity letter winners. And uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. We have uh, scholarship winners we need to recognize tonight. And Kevin Johnson is going to come up right now and present those awards. So, Kevin, come on up. Kevin, a round of applause. Tonight, we're excited to be awarding five special seniors with scholarships. And first, I want to thank all the seniors that applied for the scholarship. And I also want to give a special thank you to the scholarship committee that carefully uh, reviewed each of the applications. They were very impressed by everything uh, that you've accomplished in your four years uh, with the Athens Band program. You should be very proud. 
On behalf of the Troy Athens Band Boosters, I would like to first recognize the following senior who will be receiving a $300 scholarship. Please come to the stand, Matthew Young. <laughs> Next, I would like to present three seniors each with a $400 scholarship. Please come to the stand, Joel Gregg. <laughs> Abby Zerman. And Allison Diebel. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to present our first place scholarship award worth $500 to Matthew McDonnell. Please give one more round of applause to all of our senior scholarship winners. Congratulations to all of you. All right, and let's see, before dinner, just a couple more things. I'd like to invite all of the 2022 TAB eBoard to stand, please, and receive recognition. All of our booster eBoard, please stand up. And please remain standing, please remain standing. I'd love to see you. Love to, good, I'm going to talk about you for a minute, so you have to see something. Good. This group of parents work hard to make the Athens Band experience exceptional for all students. They make big decisions, support all of our performing ensembles, lead massive fundraisers, and are always thinking about the kids. Without this e-board, our kids would not have the performing opportunities they do, and they deserve an enormous amount of praise for the time they spend each week helping take our band program to the next level. One more round of applause for that, you folks. <laughs> and uh, one final uh, bit of recognition before we have dinner. We need Gina Miller to come on up. Gina, come on up here. Come on all the way up here. Come on, Gina Miller. Come on up here, Gina Miller. All the way up, here comes Gina. I'm gonna be honest, I don't get to know all of the parents and the kids nearly as well as I'd like because I'm just not there in the first half of the day uh, during the, the, the school week and I'm just not at as many things as I like to be. But I have gotten to know Gina and I have, as, just as an assistant band director, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I am able to do without her help, and um, so that's personally from me. And then, and then Adam writes, Gina Miller is the perfect person to be leading the band boosters and has handed the torch over to Kevin and Julie Johnson. While she is more than likely thrilled to be officially done with being band booster president, she made so many positive changes for our organization. From hosting shows to finding volunteers and working countless hours late at night, this program just wouldn't be what it is without her. Everything she did for the program was to make sure the kids have a great experience in band. Please give her a huge standing ovation. Right now, 
We're going to have somebody uh, come up that's been uh, vital to this program for quite a while now and that uh, has been with us for her last season, our incredibly talented Color Guard director. is going to come up and talk about the uh, Color Guard and Winter Guard. This is Sarah Curran. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, uh, no promises. Also, start your timers on when I start crying. Um, so first, uh, I would like to thank Tracy and Deanna. Can you guys stand up for me? Um, thank you. Uh, so you two are phenomenal. Um, stay standing because the kids have stuff for you and they need to find you. <laughs> Um, thank you for all season long being on top of all the little things for me, the permits, the schedule changing, updating the calendar 8,000 times, um, all the little stuff. This was the smoothest season I, we've ever had here, um, and that's because of you guys. And thank you for stepping up and deciding to host an extra show, because um, that's huge. Um, and it's the smoothest run show in the circuit, so thank you guys for that. Uh, next, I would like to thank all of my prop builders and helpers, um, Matt, Ed, Sandy, Gretchen, Nate, Pat, Ian, Alex, and Michelle. Um, can y'all stand up? Thank you guys for uh, building our props, lugging them all over the city, all over the state, and sometimes even the country. Um, we had over 120 show days or rehearsals, um, and one of you, if not multiple, were at every day fixing something, helping unload and load, just making sure we had our stuff where we needed it. So thank you for all of that. Um, a special thank you to Ed, who made our fantastic clouds light up. Um, everyone talked about them all season. Everyone loved them, so thank you for making that a reality for us. And a uh, very special thank you to Matt. Um, I, t I knew this was when I was going to start losing it. Matt, over the past four years, I have asked you to build a 10-foot-tall church with functioning doors, a 15-foot gate with functioning doors, a 20-foot bridge, and nine clouds that move and light up. And you looked at me every year like I was absolutely insane. But every year, you came through and made amazing props for us. So thank you for everything you've done the past four years. Um, to all of my wonderful guard parents, um, thank you for your support. Uh, the countless car rides, the getting kids hair and makeup ready for shows, some of you even rehearsals. Um, just your endless support is why our program is as successful as it is and why it has been the longest running program in MCGC. Uh, the program turned 31 this year. So the longest running program in the state and that's because of your support constantly. So thank you all for that. My A team, my seniors. Oh, I started crying before that. Cable hugged me earlier and I started crying. <laughs> um, you guys have been phenomenal. Um, thank you for being my class. Uh, the past four years, we've shared a lot of moments. Uh, lots of tears, lots of laughter, disappointment, pride, happiness and sadness, all of that. And through all of those moments, the good and the bad, you guys have made this program better. So thank you for leaving a good mark on this program. Um, to all of my students, you are the reason why I do this for so many years. Um, as your hard work, your dedication, your trust, and me and the rest of the staff, that's why we do this. So thank you for trusting us for this past season and this past year. Um, 
Tyler and Davey, thank you for everything you do. There's so much that we don't see as a choreographer and a tech. There's so many hours that I know you guys spend behind closed doors working on things for this program and investing your own time to make this program better. So thank you for that. Akash, um, you have been my zen on show days, keeping me chill and calm um, and helping me believe in that confidence that I present but don't always have inside. So thank you for that and just for being a great friend the past two years. And finally, um, thank you everyone, Tab, the students, the everyone. Um, I have been part of this family for 23 years. And I just can't thank this program enough for giving me something to look up to and hope and inspiration when I was seven, something to look forward to getting older. And then when I was 14, a freshman, being able to express myself in a creative outlet. And then the past nine years, I've had the wonderful opportunity to give back to you all and to this fan program. So just thank you so much for the opportunity I have had here. Drum majors, this is the marching band portion of the evening. Drum majors, come on up. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of people. Jeez. All right. And now we have the marching band portion of the banquet. I know. Personally, my favorite part, unbiased. Um, we, can everyone that was in marching band, uh, student-wise, stand and be recognized, please? Get a look at that. All right, I have to say, standing there at the very back wall one year ago, I had absolutely no idea what to expect of this season or the show or anything of what it would be like to be a drum major. And it's got to be one of our most ambitious seasons ever. And it would not have all been possible without parent support. So parents, can you please stand if you are part of any of these positions? <clears throat> Hold on. Um, E-board, marching band reps, winter guard reps, trunk or treat, band camp chaperones, winter guard chaperones, go ahead, stand up, uniform chairs, pit crew, props crew, photographers, trailer drivers, videographers, announcers, concession chairs, con uh, competition chaperones, first aid, hi mom, uh, football game volunteers, <laughs> car wash fundraisers, bed sheet fundraiser, cheesecake fundraiser, popcorn nights, home show, uh, the one Troy bandit show, craft show, MCGC, WGI, the Grand Rapids trip, and of course, all the drum major parents. Look at that. Without them, I truly believe that this, without parents, I truly believe that the KS tour would have had an entirely different meaning to what it would have currently. Uh, thank you for everything you do. It really means the world to us all. This has been an amazing season with a lot of great memories and a lot of chaos. There were so many rookies this year. It,
There were so many rookies this year. It was a blast getting to know all of you and seeing all of your potential in this band. This was a challenging show this season, so seeing you all work together and putting in, all of, putting in your all to be able to perform this show was really cool to watch. Bandcamp did have a few challenges, like never-ending rain, but we did make the most of it and didn't let that stop us. During the breaks in the rain, we still managed to create the best memories, like playing games and crowd surfing Mr. Cable. <laughs> marching bed has always had more benefits than just getting better at marching, playing your instrument, or spinning a flag. There were lessons we learned this season as well. You all learned and improved your work ethic, being prepared and arriving on time. You all learned a lot about yourselves and how to push yourself and exceed even your own expectations. You all conquered your mistakes, like if you fell on your face, got knocked over or tripped. You always got back up, brushed it off, and performed the best you could. Through some setbacks and complications like more rain at MSBOA, you all still had a blast and sang through all of the audio clips. Sometimes things go wrong like that, and it was incredible to see how you all still made the most of the performance and didn't let a few bumps in the road slow you down. Like Mr. Cable always says, be a goldfish. Whatever happened is already over, so forget about it, move on, and continue to be the best you can be. My makeup isn't smudged from crying from Sarah's speech. Um, all right, let me think. My job right now is to give everyone um, some advice for the upcoming season, get people excited, something to think about. So I'm going to start off by saying um, this year will be my, after four amazing years, this will be my fifth and final year with you guys. And so my advice is treat every practice like it's your last. And I don't mean senior strip and glow sticks, please. <laughs> but, but in every practice, put in the amount of heart and soul and effort you would put into your last run on your final practice on that field. Now this next piece of advice is for my seniors, the class that raised me. I encourage you as you're going out into the world and to all the amazing things you're about to do, yeah, I mean, you're going you're gonna to do all of this stuff. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to do good things, bad things. You know, it's going to be a lot of different stuff. But I encourage you to think about all the things that we say about mistakes in marching band. We say, if you're going to make a mistake, make it confidently so you can learn from it, <laughs> right? And just keep going and use it as building blocks. Don't let it tear you down. Use it as something to help you improve. I promise each and every one of you, if you... If you really take this to heart and you put in you know, that effort and that soul into everything you do, you will end this season or wherever you're going next, you will end up feeling so accomplished with yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, guys. Uh, down here, there's a box, and, uh, ooh, Heart of the Red Hawks Award, honoring Marla Janis, Band Booster President, 2010 through 13, in recognition of those who embody her enthusiasm and camaraderie in the Athen Band, Athens Band family through a welcoming and positive attitude in leadership, teamwork, and dedication to the Athens Band program. And on this award, there are two names for 2023, and they are Sean McDonald and Gina Miller. Can you give them a round of applause for what they've done? Stand up. That's going to be great. Beautiful. Would you like to give a speech? Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, go for it, man. You want to come on up, come on up, Gina.
I truly believe that we do have one of the finest band programs in the entire state. And that is a fact because we are in a district that uh, promotes it. We have school administration that support it. We have one of the best, most powerful band directors I've ever met. Um, we have very talented students, extremely talented students, don't we? We have, though, a lot of supportive parents. And it's not just me and it's not just Gina, although between me and Gina, it's mostly Gina. <laughs> uh, we have a ton, a ton of parents that could be named on this plaque, so we want to thank you all. But I do want to use this moment to point out the, the hardest part about being eboard and certainly about being band president, a board president, is finding support constantly from the parents. And it's great that so many of us stood up this evening. Those of you that are returning next year, I would encourage you, challenge yourself to do more as parents. Challenge yourself to sign up for more, to volunteer for more, to raise your hand more often because the hardest part, the most stressful part for our board and for the parents running things is just finding more help. So, you know, challenge yourself to do more next year and we'll continue to push this band to, to new and greater heights. Thank you. Guys, sure, let's do it. Let's applaud a little bit more. Hey, before the show reveal and the drum major reveal, we've got six senior speeches, and I've read them, and they're awesome. And the first one I'd like to hear tonight, and I'd like you to hear, is by Alex Dordovic. Come on up. Thank you all for being here today. Before I start the main speech, I'd just like to say I cannot put into this one speech everything that this band has done for me, my family, and I'm sure many others as well. Four years ago, if you told me that I was still in the marching band, I would have called you crazy. And four years ago, I was expecting to quit before I even started. But here I am today standing before you as a senior and proud member of the band. As a freshman, Mondays and Wednesdays were the scariest days of the weeks. I could have four tests in one day, but I would always dread going to Mondays and Wednesdays. I even had missed band camp that year, and for some apparent reason, Mr. Cable allowed me to stay. During the first practice after band camp, I was in awe at how awesome the show looked and sounded. And the progress that my bandmates had made in just a week was amazing. I instantly regretted my decision to have skipped it. From that moment on, I knew that I needed to start taking the marching band more seriously, and I realized I had been given an incredible opportunity that I shouldn't have let go to waste. I made a conscious effort to show up to every practice and put in the work necessary to improve. And despite there being days I was exhausted from schoolwork and just didn't feel like playing my instrument, I kept pushing through. And I was punished with many, many well-deserved push-ups. <laughs> <clears throat> As the months went on, I started to see the results of my hard work, and I was improving my skills, making amazing friends, and gaining a sense of pride and accomplishment with each successful run that I had made. One of the most rewarding moments came during the very first competition. We'd been practicing for weeks, and I was nervous about how we'd perform. But as soon as we stepped on the field, I felt a rush of excitement and adrenaline. And that competition was just the beginning of my love for marching band, and especially just the band as a whole. Over the years, I've had the opportunity to perform at numerous competitions, football games, and parades. And that has just been an experience that I will never forget for the rest of my life. As I stand here today, reflecting on my journey with the marching band, I'm filled with gratitude and pride. And I'm grateful for the experiences and opportunities that the band has provided me with. And I'm proud of the progress that I've made as a musician and as a person. From Athens' own football field and all the way to Disney World, I truly cannot believe how far I've come with this band. It's definitely all thanks to the amazing staff and parents, and especially Mr. Cable. To my fellow band members, I would like to uh, give you uh, the words of wisdom that my section leader gave to me during our wisdom walk freshman year. She said that 
If she could, she would trade places with me and Abby being freshmen. And at, the, at, the, at that time, I didn't realize how much that meant. But looking back, any of your freshmen, even you juniors, I would trade places with you instantly just to do another year. <sighs> to Mr. Cable and the rest of the band, and Mr. Crumb, um, <laughs> Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of this amazing program and for believing in me. As Ozzy Osbourne said, it's all part of my journey. I've done a lot of stupid things, and I've made a lot of mistakes. But joining the marching man was definitely not a mistake. It is easily by far the greatest decision that I have ever made in my life. To my section, I love you all, most of you, and, <laughs> and to my great friends as well, I hope that we can continue this journey in life for many years to come. Thank you, everyone. Matthew Young, come on up. Near the beginning of the season at band camp, Mr. Cable asked me and the other drum majors to help him write an alma mater. If you don't know what an alma mater is, like I didn't, an alma mater is an anthem of a school. At the time, it wasn't something I was very invested in. It got pushed back to the back of my mind as something that I thought about, but it was always pushed back by something that seemed more pressing. Now as a senior, reaching the end of the line of high school, that idea has popped back into my mind as the realization is setting in that this part of my life is coming to an end. I joined marching band my sophomore year, so I may not have been in this band as long as some of my fellow seniors, but that year that I missed, that I experienced only from football games and old, old stories I couldn't relate to, I feel like I took this band less for granted because I knew what I had missed out on. That time I missed helped me understand what this band stood for and how to help push the band striving for that endless goal of greatness. I came into this program as a shy little kid who only talked to the few people I knew. That's fine if you have all the friends you need, but I recommend from personal experience to come out of your shells. I started coming out of my shell during my junior year, and that was the best thing for me. I met way more people than I would have expected. It didn't matter where I was on the field or who I was around. There was always someone I could start a conversation with, and that was the most amazing thing. I went into my senior season with a lot of hopes and a lot of nerves. It wasn't until I started having conversations with the rookies and some of the vets that I knew the season would be a blast. I did go through a few struggles. For example, the goal to learn everyone's name at band camp was not ideal for me. But I managed with the help of my fellow drum majors, and I started telling people we learned all of your names between the three of us. <laughs> but I guess teamwork makes the dream work, right? I was given the opportunity to run the football team in every home game, and that was a great thing for me to realize how connected we are to the football team and to the school. I had some of their seniors come up to me a few times during the season, and I even heard about it again a few days ago, how something happened regarding us and their freshman team. And those guys fought for us on our side. That's how much we mean to them and how much they need us around. Going back to the alma mater, that is something that will one day bring our school closer together. Some something all grades can sing together, and as a senior, it would mean more to come back and have something that could keep me connected to the school. Seeing the impact that 150 of us left last year, we're all beyond, we're all beyond excited to see what you can all achieve this next season. Thank you. Shirag, but come on up. Ooh, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of eyes. <laughs> this is quite exhilarating. Um, okay. Participating in marching band has been a unique transformative experience for me. It's surreal to imagine that my high school marching career is over. 
And I think the same goes for everyone standing or sitting up here next to me. It felt like just yesterday, I was in Rat Squad for the first time, trying to remember all the commands Mark was giving me. It was giving me quite a headache, actually. Fast forward to our first performance, trying to remember all those notes and how to march properly, keep my toes up high, walk in a straight line, don't look constipated while trying to do everything. <laughs> Quite a challenge. <laughs> um, as I reflect on these years in Athens marching band, as much as I hated those Mondays and Wednesdays coming in, working for two and a half hours, I never regretted the decision. Um, I never regretted that decision I made in eighth grade, coming in, coming into a room full of strangers. I came from Smith Middle School. I knew a single person when I came, which was Liam Kilpatrick. Um, <laughs> as I walked into that room full of strangers, it was a blessing. It helped me get to know everybody much, much faster. What is that noise? <laughs> Marching band is more than just a group of mus musicians coming together to make music. It is a community, a family, and a place where we can all come together. As I prepare to leave the marching band and more, to move on to the next chapter of my life, I just want to thank all of you for the incredible journey we have shared. To the staff members and Mr. Cable and Mr. Crum, who have guided us with patience and passion. To the parents who have supported us with love and encouragement. And to my fellow band members who have inspired me with your talent and education. Thank you. Good luck to the upcoming seniors. I hope you all have an amazing year. And, and, I hope, and I know all the seniors here can't wait to see next year's show. In closing, I want to leave you all with one final thought. A couple of things that I've learned mainly this year. Whatever the future holds, never forget what you've gained from the decisions you've made. Don't look at life in a negative perspective. Don't regret anything you've done. Look forward and move on. Don't dwell on things that have happened in your life too much, as it will consume you. A saying I adopted at the beginning of this year, and I myself struggle to uh, stick to it. Don't overthink the smallest things beyond belief. Live in the moment. Don't go with the safe op option if it means you'll lose out. out on something special. Take that risk and find out what will happen. Remember all the connections you have made through these years and let them inspire you to pursue your passions with dedication. Support others with kindness and strive for excellence. Thank you and congratulations to all of us for a job well done. Amelia Bittner. Oh, they're not wrong. There are a lot of people here. Um, honestly, I never thought I would be up here. Uh, that's not to say I wanted to leave the guard or leave the marching band. Um, it holds a very special place in my heart, color guard, marching band. Um, I'm talking about being up here and giving a speech. Um, when I first joined the Color Guard, which seems like a lifetime ago, there was a very prominent divide um, between the band and the Guard. Uh, the Guard was more secluded, and of course this might have been because I was a little middle schooler and a little more socially awkward than I am right now. Um, but in general, there was a very prominent divide between the two like sections. Uh, so being up here, it's, it's quite surreal. And I'm very proud to say that some of my best friends are sitting up here right now. 
um, in the band, which I don't think I would have believed would have happened when I was younger and when I first joined the band. Um, it's still a little crazy that I, like, I'm giving this speech. Um, not even a few years ago, again, I thought I would have never had the opportunity to be friends with such amazing people. Um, they're so supportive and they're kind and the band is a very amazing community and you should all be very lucky that you decided to join the marching band. It's truly an amazing experience that um, you really shouldn't pass up. So last season I decided that I had a goal that I wanted to talk to as many people as I could. And I think that is the best decision I have ever made. Um, I have memories that I would have never had if, because I just would have never talked to as many people as I did. Um, and I will cherish those memories for a lifetime. I will cherish every single person who I was able to talk to because I decided to come a little more out of my shell. I will cherish that forever. Um, and I want to give the advice to talk to not just someone who you don't think you would normally talk to, talk to as many people as you can because they're all here with you because they chose to be here with you. Um, and to those who may, be, may feel hesitant to reach out and connect with others, um, I very much encourage you to take that first step. You never know who you might meet and the memories you will create together. Cherish every moment, embrace every opportunity, and make the most of this experience because it does not last forever. Um, and lastly, uh, I know I just said that I tried to make memories and talk to everyone, but um, I want to address the guard because you guys mean absolutely everything to me. I don't think I can properly express in words how much every single one of you has impacted me. I've spent, I'd say about half of my life um, with one of you um, and almost my entire high school career with all of your beautiful faces. We have two seasons together every year and I would not trade that for the world. If I had to go back and change something about my life, it would certainly not be this. I love all of you so, so much. Um, yeah, so I would highly recommend bonding with as many people as possible because they're all here for you, so you should be there for them. Abby Zierman. Come on over. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I've been attending these banquets every year, wondering what it would be like to do this in front of all of you. So here it goes. I've had the greatest opportunity to be a part of this program for 11 seasons. I've made friendships that will last a lifetime, and I've created memories that will last forever. I've probably ran a hundred, hundreds or more laps around the Larson Gym and suffered way too many jammed fingers. I've had triumphs and many failures. We all do. Nobody is perfect. But my advice to you is to not be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. Work hard, make a few mistakes, make memories you want to remember, meet new people, live for the long practices, bus rides, invitationals, crazy hairstyles, and gush and goes. What I know is that being in this band does not mean focusing on the score or the placement. Nobody will remember the giant trophy or exact tenth of a point that made you win. Instead, you will remember the feeling when you walk off the floor for the last time, if it be at world championships or after a marching band competition. Walk off that floor with no regrets. Being in this band means that you have a family of over 150 people who you will, will be for your forever friends. Friends who you spend countless hours not only rehearsing a show with, but also laughing, sharing stories, and everything else you can possibly imagine. Take advantage of getting to know other people outside your section, trust me. Go ahead and hang out with those people after a football game, even if you're tired, but maybe not if you have to be at the school for a competition the next morning. 
Give each other pep talks, make handshakes, sing together on the bus, and at the end of the day, enjoy every little moment because each season is the only time that you will spend with those same people in your section, march with 150 plus, fist bump those exact drum majors, and perform the show you only get to do for one season. Although every practice might not be perfect, maybe not even good, it's the lasting memories and laughter shared that reminds me of the everlasting bond music can bring between people. Thank you. And Nolan Booth. Saving the best for last, right? No. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Your speeches have, also, have been awesome. Like, you're going to put me to shame here, but um, I'll just start. So, I've always been a pretty shy and quiet kid. I don't like to be made the center of attention or have everyone's eyes on me, but it kind of seems like something is amiss here. <laughs> I'm, standing <laughs> I'm standing in front of all of you giving a speech. Some of you who have known me for years may be surprised by this, and to be perfectly honest, I am surprised by this. If you had asked me freshman year to give a speech in front of a room of giant people... <laughs> in case you can't tell, I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so... If you had asked me freshman year to give a speech in front of a giant room full of people, I would have laughed at you and wouldn't have given it a second thought. After all, why would I, Nolan Booth, put myself out there in front of a bunch of people? Well, I'm not a freshman anymore. Now let me be frank with you. I'm... Okay. I am by no means Mr. Confident. However, being in band has changed me. As a clarinet player, if I want my sound to be heard at all, I need to be loud. I've been told repeatedly in my time playing music to be loud. I have to be confident, otherwise nobody will hear me. This forced confidence to have, seems to have rubbed off on me because, well, here I am. I'm still nervous, sure. It's not easy to completely shake away nervousness. I still stumble over my words when I have to speak like this. However, despite my nervousness, I have grown as a person. This year in symphonic band, I have had two solos, and that's two more solos than I've played at all other points in my past. So, infinitely many more, I guess. Playing a solo has literally been my worst nightmare before this year. But being in band, I have to be loud. I stepped up to the plate and took the solos. Even though I was, a I was apprehensive at first, and even though it scared me, I did them. I have grown. Band has helped me in other ways, too. As I look into the crowd, I see many people who have been playing alongside me for years. People who want me to succeed. It is thanks to you that I have grown. In fact, I likely wouldn't have even had the idea to give a speech if it weren't for the several people who said I should. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Cameron, Macy. There have been other people, sorry. My ability to think right now is a little limited. Um, when I was in middle school, Mr. Cable said that one of the best things about band is the friends you make. I, being the reserved person I was, laughed at that, not thinking that band could really make me a ton of friends. Yet now, thinking back, I genuinely cannot remember who I went to middle school with and who I met in high school, because it seriously feels like I've known you all for my entire life. Any, anyone can at any point learn how to play an instrument. You don't have to be in high school to learn how to play. If I had never joined band, the ability to learn an instrument would still be there. What wouldn't be there, however, is all of you. So, being in band, I have to be loud if I want to be heard. I can say that band has made me just that much louder, and I can safely say that I've been heard. So thank you all for hearing me. It's time for the show reveal. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. All right, Brandon, we only have two hours to get this reveal video done. Let's get this show on the road. I don't know, Macy. I thought this whole show thing was still up in the air. Has the band even gotten anything out of the show hints yet? I don't think so. I feel like all the hints kind of just been like, I don't know, going over everyone's head, you know? Yeah, they've come up with some pretty crazy ideas. They really need to get their heads out of the clouds on that one. Yeah, you're right. Um, let's just go film like a straightforward video with no puns, you know, no, nothing that they won't be able to understand. Let's go outside right now. 
This really probably isn't like the best weather to be filming in. No, I think it's actually pretty nice out. It's cold and I want to go home. True. Alright, let's focus and just get this done really, really fast. Are we rolling? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Take number 18. 19. Take number 19. Welcome to the 2023 Athens Worship Man Show Reveal, and this year's show is... Holy crap, did you see that? What? Wait, what is that? In the sky! Let me see, I'm pretty sure that's a plane. No, it's a bird! It's Superman! Oh, wait. No, that's a plane. All right, everybody, just a, one more big thing to do, and then it'll be time for dancing. We have one last recognition that we'd like to make before the formal portion of the evening concludes. The position of drum major is one that's earned by hard work, visible passion for the marching band, respect for staff, and one who embodies the spirit of our marching band perfectly. So to lead our 2023 marching band, we have instilled our trust in Brandon Mendoza. <laughs> Macy Court. And Emily Martinez.
All right, we'll turn on the music. We'll let the, the book signing continue. Students and parents, make sure you take the time to say thank you to your staff and take some pictures. Our kickoff for the 2023 marching band season is on Mon Monday, May 15th. We know a few students will be absent because of the Cedar Point trip, so parents of those students, make sure you are there to get the information for your student. We have this room until 9.30 p.m., so please stay as long as you can. Enjoy the rest of your night, and please drive safely. <laughs>